All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy Razor for Razor 2 coming at you with a massive news update today. Woo! Woo! All right, let's get to the point. Jeez, let's turn that off. Anyways, all right, welcome to the channel, everybody. If you guys are new new to this channel, this is your first time here at RazorTube. Drop that sub and like and hit that notification bell for the most up-to-date and recent Rust Council edition news. Today, we are coming at you with today's topic, and that's massive news about the Power Surge release date for the main branch of Rust Council Edition. Why is this huge? Because Power Surge is the electricity portion component slash content being pushed to the Xbox Series X, Xbox One X, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and all the OG consoles out there. So let's talk about it. Let's get into this conversation about this update, the power update that's coming out. And uh, we'll kind of have like a little uh, sesh, a little chat sesh, all right? So uh, let me get this real quick for you. A little boop. So today the news came in the form of the dev blog 13. So it says, greeting survivors. As we turn the, the page to 2023, we couldn't be more thrilled with the success of Rust Council Edition in 2022, but we're not relaxing our efforts. We have a host of new and exciting updates planned to take your Rust experience to the next level. With the first one already being tested in PTB since November last year, that's what we'll focus on during this dev blog. Let's, uh, I like how they met since November last year. Jeez. They make it Pedro, you know, he's saucy with the old text. <clears throat> Let's start by answering the question that everyone wants to know. When will Power Surge release for the Rust Council edition? And when they say that, they meet to the main branch. So it's, we're excited to announce that we are aiming to release Power Surge on February 23rd with a monthly P uh, wipe. This new content update will bring all the electricity features from the PTB, including the new monument that we will talk more about in the next section. The next monthly wipe will also be a BP wipe, so everyone can have a fresh start with electricity. See, that's what we're talking about. Every time they have a major content push, all you guys that are like, oh, hey, is it going to be a, a BP wipe for monthly? Usually you won't see that, and per Double Eleven's behavior, only during big content pushes, we see that monthly wipe come in. That's a hard wipe. So, obviously, weekly folks don't got to worry about that because you get a hard wipe every week. It says, recently we released update 1.26 on the PTB, and so far it's looking promising. There are a few issues that we want to address before we release into the main branch, so expect an update over the PTB in the middle of February, which is in a couple of weeks. So, lo and behold, this is my second favorite monument in the game. Dome being the first one, Power Plant being the second. This is an awesome, awesome place to loot, and it's going to be great having it back. So, Power Surge introduces a new monument called Power Plant. To tackle this challenge, it's advised that you take a hazmat suit, which we need skins for, by the way, just saying. As some of the buildings contain rads, as well as a green card, a blue card, and a fuse that you will need to complete the main puzzle room. The area covered by this monument is extensive and loot can be found all around, like in the abandoned train cars, pipes, the underground tunnel system, and in the surrounding buildings. There's also plenty of utility in the vicinity with three recyclers, two oil refineries, two repair benches, one research table, and a pump jack that you can use to create some crude oil. The new mid-tier monument is risky as it is highly contested by other players and the added radi radiation doesn't make it any easier. But if you manage to conquer it and get the loot, it will be extremely rewarding. And they're not lying. So, with this dev blog, we get a little bit of a news action with new wipe schedule and BP wipe. Starting this week, February 2nd, we'll have a new wipe schedule. It's just a 30-minute shift compared to the old version. But we need to make this change to make the wipes more smooth. In the last two wipes, we have seen a huge influx of players all at the same time. And this can cause some issues that will stop players from being able to join the game. So from, the, from this weekly wipe onward, expect the wipe times to be at 6.30 p.m. UTC instead of the usual 6 p.m. UTC. 
We hope you all are excited on what's to come. The next monthly wipe is going to be massive, and we cannot wait to see the new amazing base designs you come up with once Power Surge is available. Have a good wipe. Pedro Silva, the man and community manager at Double Eleven. So let's talk about Power Surge and how this is going to affect you as a player. Well, if you haven't been playing on the public testing branch to even test out Power Surge, do it now. The reason with that is because to actually integrate the, electric the electricity components inside your base, it's going to be a little bit more of a rough task than you think. The reason why is because you have to store everything. So you need to put, you know, you might need to redesign your base because you got to put solar panels on the top. You might have to redesign your base because you got to store a large battery or a medium battery. There's a ton of stuff that you need to take into consideration when this gets released to main branch. So if you've been the guy that's just been spamming turrets all around, you prick, and uh, you haven't had any power connected to it, by the way, this is what your turret's going to look like from now on, dead in the water. Not only that, but you're going to need a power source for that, okay? So you're going to have to charge batteries, carry that around along with, you know, your turret, in order to even set up a fob or be that guy that puts a turret in the middle of a field for no reason. Yeah, that guy, I hate that guy. Anyways, what does this mean for solo duos and trios? Power Surge is a great way to implement electricity to any of your base builds. That means trap bases, more intricate ways to create lighting in your base. You can actually get heaters in your base, which actually lets you live in the snow biome so you don't need it like carpets and campfires there's a lot of these pieces that change the way we play rust in general all together that's a good thing now power plant let's let's go on to that because i want to talk to you guys about that power plant is one of the biggest monuments in this game the reason why is because it's two nuclear silos that literally got smoked and they're just sitting there, right? So you have the chance to traverse. Let me see if I can find it on the map. Oh yeah, it's pretty close to me. Woo! You have a chance to actually traverse the map, get to it, and get a lot of loot from it. It offers a ton of new things. Obviously, there's a little bit of a difference on PC compared to what's going to be on console, like the subway system coming up at it. But look at this thing. It is massive on every level. You have so many places to PvP, so many places to find loot. You have the main loot room in the middle of it. It is very centralized around getting a lot of loot. So you're not going to just be able to walk up in here. Some of these places have extreme rads, like top of this little freaking grain tower. Over by the silos. Well, the broken one. You know that's broken because it blew up. It's got rads. But it offers so many different angles and how to collect loot from such a huge monument. Now, you have to remember during release of Power Plant, right, on the PTB, the thing that's going to suck, and don't get me wrong, is since they've already put it out there, a lot of people are going to build around it. It's going to be a high traffic area because there's high tier loot here. So keep that in mind. But I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you haven't seen it on the PTB yet, this is what it is. Woo! Look at it. You got boxes. You got all types of stuff. But the more we get into this new year in 2023, we're going to start to see a lot of new changes happen to Rust Council Edition. Now, are we going to see like minis and stuff? Probably not. That'll probably be next year. Are we going to see farming 2.0? Yeah. On top of custom servers? I'm crossing my fingers. I better see that crap. But that's what's to come. Where is my base? I don't even know where my base is, dog. All right. Here we go. But this is massive news. This is huge, 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 huge changes happening in the Rust Council Edition. Obviously, if you've been playing PTB, it's nothing new to you. But the release date for this is going to be February 23rd. I appreciate you guys watching. Get out there and get it. If you haven't been familiarized with the Power Surge, you need to go to the PTB if you got it right now and start playing with the electricity components because everybody's going to have a leg up on you if they've already done it and you haven't. 
Trust me. If you don't know how this stuff works, you better figure it out because it's coming. All right, that's it for me. Get out of my video now. Right now. Bye. <laughs>